人で決めるかOn April 10, 2022, Roki Sasaki of the Chibalote Marines threw perhaps the greatest game in the history of professional baseball. Manager Tadahito Iguchi put it best when he said, I knew he would have a game like this eventually, but I just didn't expect it to be so soon. Now, if you're interested in how Sasaki got to this point, check out my other video, The Rise of Roki Sasaki and Yasunobu Okugawa, from February. But today, let's just marvel at his perfecto by using some numbers. 28. That's how many years it's been since the last perfect game was thrown in Nippon Professional Baseball. In fact, this was only the fourth perfect game in Japan since 1973. That's 49 years ago, so this is truly a generational achievement. 38. That's the combined age of Roki Sasaki and his battery mate, Ko Matsukawa. Sasaki is only 20 years old in his third professional year, and Matsukawa is an 18-year-old rookie straight out of high school. In his post-game interview, Sasaki attributed much of his success to Matsukawa's calling behind the plate. Sasaki's achievement is unfathomable, but to do it with an 18-year-old catcher somehow makes it even more unbelievable, and Matsukawa also chimed in with a bases-clearing double with the bat. Both Sasaki and Matsukawa are clearly very advanced for their ages, and it's just a beautiful thing to see them carving up batters together like their 15-year veterans of the league. 14. That's how many career starts Sasaki had made prior to his perfect game, including one postseason start. He made 11 regular season starts last year during his rookie season, and only two this year prior to this game. Again, it would be incredible for any pitcher to do what Sasaki did, but for someone this untenured, it's seriously fantasy territory. 106. That's the Bill James game score on Sasaki's perfect game. To put that into perspective, a pitcher has only achieved a game score over 100 in a 9 inning game on 16 occasions in Major League Baseball history. Sasaki's 106 even tops Kerry Wood's 20 strikeout performance, which is widely considered the greatest game ever pitched and that wasn't even a no-hitter. So yes, it's not a stretch to say this may be the greatest game ever. 19. That's how many batters Sasaki struck out during his perfect game. Think about it. He faced 27 batters in total, and 70% of them didn't even leave the batter's box. It's like he's back in Little League. Out of his 19 punch-outs, 15 came on fork balls and 4 came on fastballs. Of course, in the middle of racking up all those Ks, he also set a new MPB record when he struck out 13 consecutive batters from the end of the first inning to the end of the fifth inning, shattering the previous record of 9. In fact, it's actually a world record. But the most impressive part of his 19 strikeout performance may be that the 3 through 5 hitters in the Oryx Buffaloes lineup combined to go 0 for 9 with 9 strikeouts. And that even includes outfielder Masataka Yoshida, who only struck out 26 times all year last season. Yoshida even admitted the Buffaloes tried to make adjustments throughout the game, but Sasaki was just too good. It's got serious 1999 vibes when an 18-year-old Daisuke Matsuzaka struck out Ichiro Suzuki three times in a game. 105. That's how many pitches it took for Sasaki to complete his perfect game. Usually, high strikeout totals are going to inflate your pitch count, but that certainly wasn't a concern for Sasaki. Of his 105 total pitches, he threw 64 fastballs, 35 forkballs, 3 sliders, and 3 curveballs, so he mostly did this on just 2 weapons. He averaged 11.7 pitches per inning, 3.9 pitches per batter, and he never threw more than 14 pitches in an inning. Unreal. 102. That's the max fastball velocity Sasaki hit during his perfect game in miles per hour, and he actually did it twice. 99.5. That's the average fastball velocity Sasaki hit during his perfect game in miles per hour. Okay, it's one thing to throw a couple of hundred plus darts throughout a game, but to average almost 100 miles per hour is crazy. That's truly Jacob deGrom territory right there. 18. That's how many first pitch strikes Sasaki got during his perfect game. In his post-game interview, Sasaki said the best part of his game was his ability to attack the zone early and get ahead in the count. Well, he did that on 18 occasions here, so he really made sure to put himself in as many advantageous positions as possible. 23. That's how many two strike counts Sasaki got during his perfect game. So, as insane as this is to think about, he could have had up to 23 strikeouts this game, especially because the contact he gave up was pretty much exclusively little dribblers and pop-ups anyway. 1. 
That's how many three ball counts Sasaki had during his perfect game. He started off Shunta Goto in the seventh inning with three straight balls to fall behind 3 0, but that was the closest he ever got to losing his perfect game as he came back with a called strike and then got him to fly out. 47. That's how many called strikes plus whiffs Sasaki got during his perfect game. 24 swings and misses, and 23 looking strikes. That gives him an amazing 44.8 CSW% percent for the game. And here's a few bonus numbers. 54.5. That's Sasaki's strikeout rate through the first three games of the season. Negative 0.35. That's Sasaki's fielding independent pitching through the first three games of the season. That's right. He's so good that he's producing negative run values. And 1.6. That's how many wins above replacement Sasaki has accumulated through just the first three games of the season so far. So there you have it. Those are just some numbers to put Roki Sasaki's 19 strikeout perfect game into perspective. But of course, not even the stats can do him justice. You have to watch him pitch to understand just how good he is. I actually live in Chiba, so I was lucky enough to watch and live tweet this game from the very first pitch, and I just felt something was special from the very beginning. It's the first perfect game I was able to watch live since Matt Cain in 2012, so I feel really lucky. Before the game started, the commentator actually joked, I'm expecting a perfect game from Sasaki because he's that good. You would think that's a ridiculous comment to make, but, well, the game speaks for itself. And what if this is only the beginning of what's to come for the monster of the Reiwa era? Alright, special thanks to my patrons, Chris J, Jonathan Greenberg, Hinosato Yaku, Poker Pack Rat, Corgi Racing, Anthony Pang, Jake Royce, Marcus Hill, Yua Bird, Ryan Fox, Jeff W, Shar Aznable, Juan Jose Sanchez Bracamontes, Christopher Woods, Samantha Garave, Yuki's Submarine, Kud, Jem Morelos, Gabriel Foss, Kurt Berglund, Eduardo Granados, Kotaro Imahayashi, Kim, J1, Tom Musa, Mike Braun, and Lucas Bora. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more MPB content in English.